Hi, my name's Vin Sheehan and today I'd like to talk about the classic 1963 horror film, The Haunting, directed by Robert Wise and starring Richard Johnson, Julie Harris, Claire Bloom and Russ Tamblin. And uh, I'd like to talk about some of the themes and the, um, and the structure of this story. Um, the film is certainly in the gothic horror vein. At the centre of it is this haunted house, which I believe was um, um, an actual stately home in Warwickshire in England. And uh, it's used to full effect. You know, we see this rather intimidating... Uh, dark, sinister house throughout the film, both the outside and the inside where the action takes place. And uh, the story centres around uh, this guy, this doctor. Uh, he's an anthropologist, but he's also very much interested in the supernatural. And he's asked for permission to go to this haunted house to investigate its uh, the goings on there. And he... Um, he sends for these volunteers to come and help him. That's the premise of the story. And in, in the introduction to this film, I think there's a, a short introduction and four uh, chunks, four basic acts of this film. The introduction, um, we're given a brief history of the previous occupants, and they've all, uh, many of, it, of whom have suffered uh, terrible, tragic fates, um, including suicide. And um, then Act One is about um, the uh, Dr. Markway, played by Richard Johnson, and he's um, asking permission to go into this house and conduct his experiments. Uh, he's granted that permission, and then we come to um, meet his um, associates who will join him uh, at his stay in this house, Hill House. And uh, they include uh, Julie Harris, who uh, Julie Harris's character, she's called Eleanor or Nell, and she's this really kind of uh, tightly um, wound up uh, figure, perhaps on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Her mother's just died. She's living in her um, her sister's uh, living room. And she doesn't seem to have much going on in her life, but she sees this as a this as a really exciting thing. Uh, she's desperate to go on, and she's really the central character. You could argue it's uh, much of the the horror and uh, the story is kind of driven through her character. And then we have this other um, this other woman um, who's called Theodora or Theo for short. She's this glamorous. Um, slightly uh, provocative uh, character. Um, she's not scared to speak her mind and um, and uh, she's kind of uh, teases um, Nell quite a lot. There's a bit of tension between the two characters uh, throughout this film. And then we have Luke who's uh, played by Russ Tamblin and he is set to inherit this house and he's come along uh, really as an additional guest. And these, uh, these four people uh, begin to uh, spend uh, the first night at this haunted house, Hill House, or presumed haunted house. Which brings us into the uh, second act, and this is where the bulk of the hauntings happen. Um, first of all, Nell and Theo hear these, this terrific, terrifically loud banging sound outside uh, Theo's bedroom. And uh, they're absolutely terrified, and um, the banging seems to get louder and louder and nearer and nearer to their, their door, and it even tries to get in the door, but it doesn't quite succeed in that. So that's like the first significant uh, haunting, I guess. But then we also, um, then uh, Dr. Markway and Luke, they've um, realised that there was this uh, ghostly dog running around the house, which they've tried to chase out. And then it transpires also that um, there's some uh, writing on the wall for Eleanor to go home. Um, it's this ghostly writing. So the house is beginning to speak to Eleanor or Nell in particular. In this act, we also have a scene where um, 
Nell is kind of awake at night and she can hear like this this muttering behind a wall and like a child's voice crying and she's been held her hand is being held who she thinks by Theo who's uh, sleeping in the same room but it isn't actually it's a ghostly presence the third act really is concerned about um, Nell's unravelling uh, psychologically and she seems to be completely overwhelmed by this house but also she's very drawn to it as well she sees her destiny very much being at Hill House and she kind of loses her grip on reality a bit and um, the wife of Dr Markway turns up and that upsets Eleanor because she kind of has developed a soft spot for him and she thinks that her feelings might be reciprocated but uh, then Dr. Marquay's uh, wife decides to spend the night in the nursery, which seems to be the, the kind of evil, um, cold heart of this house. Something terrible has happened there. And she uh, goes in, spends the night, and she disappears. And uh, Nell is um, kind of... Uh, looking for her around the house and she's experiencing all these uh, visions and uh, kind of auditory hallucinations, real perhaps. And, um, and then in the final act, um, Nell um, is encouraged to leave the house because she's so fragile. She's, you know, she's kind of a broken woman, but um, she wants to stay. But she gets in the car and the car kind of steers itself. It seems like the, the house has got control over Nell even as she's driving away. And Nell is uh, driven into a tree where she's killed just after seeing the missing uh, Mrs Markway. And that's really the end of the film. Um, so it's, um, you know, by today's standards you wouldn't call it a scary film. Um, but it's uh, certainly very effective in creating a creepy atmosphere. Apparently some of the camera lenses that were used deliberately bend the walls and uh, give it that slightly unreal um, atmosphere. And the performances uh, are good in the film as well. Um, Julie Harris is so kind of intense and uh, uh, obsessive and uh, it, she's really quite a scary character in a way in a way that so much is right for her you feel really feel for her because you know so much is riding on this stay in this in hill house for her and claire bloom has got a lot of screen presence as well and uh yeah it's, it's a good film i recommend watching it um some of the themes in the film um concern um the need for sacrifice the house seems to require human sacrifice or the spirits that um, motivate the house do. Also, there's the themes of uh, kind of mental um, breakdown and collapse in the case of Nell. Um, there's themes of evil which has taken place in a specific locality can somehow endure and affect future generations. Yeah, so it's an effective film. Um, I've included a short powerpoint about the themes and the structure of the film so please hang around for that and thanks for watching bye